Thanks for staying with us. Guess who joined the party? Hello? Let's come back. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, quickly tell us, how was your day? Oh, my day, uh, very busy. That's all I can say. What didn't you very do? Busy. What didn't I do? Thank you. What did I do? <laughs> I did everything. Meetings, phone calls, talking to customers, clients that didn't understand a lot of things. I had to do like a lot of explaining. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then after work, I had to go see my tailor. Then go back. Then I had to cook. I've been uh -uh. craving native rice, uh -uh. and for the first time today, I made it, and it was amazing. Oh, <laughs> so you delicious. didn't bring for us. Can you imagine? <laughs> you mean go? I'll do it. I'll do it yours tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me start with you, Jennifer, because I like this story, so we'll patch it in the middle. So what did you find for us in the news today? Mm. So Benue imposes curfew in local government. Mm. So the Benue state governor, Samuel Autumn, has disclosed that the state has imposed a curfew in the Sankara axis of the northeast area of the state following the recent insecurity being witnessed in the area. So now that there is a curfew, there is also a ransom, and he said that he has placed 5 million naira on whoever gets useful information that will lead to the arrest of killers of Chief Tekura Suswam. Hmm. So he was killed, and that's why the curfew has been imposed. Hmm. Hmm. So whoever finds him, 5 million naira is yours. <laughs> Just well, will the curfew curb the... Um, crisis in Benue or the the insecurity in Benue. No, coffee always it uh, it does help because um, uh, I mean I was saying it yesterday that um, for every time that we had a crisis in Kaduna State while I was growing up, yeah. um, there was almost like an immediate state of emergency declared and you know twenty four hour curfew and all of that. It's just a curb movement because mm. once you're not able to, it is only the real people that are doing evil that will have to find a mm. way, and it's easier to smoke out you know. Smoke out the evil people when there's a curfew than when everybody's just moving and all of that. So it's easier to do that. So well, okay. curfew does help, yeah. All right, so you found a very beautiful story for us. Hmm. Transformational story. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you found. I, I, was, um, I went fashion and I, uh, I saw on Twitter something was trendy. Hmm. And it was a then versus now uh, trend. And I was asking myself, what's all this about the now, then versus now? And I had to look at it. What actually struck me about this story is not about the fact that a lot of people were talking about personal growth and business growth, but the fact that a lot of Nigerians who had migrated from Nigeria to uh, Indo Yibo, <laughs> <laughs> that they've gone abroad, have actually seen the light. Mm. Mm. Not in the context of the fact that they, 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 they are better, but they looked a lot better hmm. than Fresher. what they looked like when they were in Nigeria. So is it the is it the problem is it the problem with our climate? Is it the problem with our people? <laughs> or let's look at it from the other aspect. All these problems we've been having back and forth in Nigeria: insecurity, lights, no nepa, Boko you know, Haram. You know everything. when I saw that, I had seen that um, mm -hmm. post on social media. In fact, mm -hmm. I almost wanted to share it to the group so that you okay. guys would laugh, laugh about, about it. it. But because the handle where I saw it was a private handle, it would be mm. difficult for people, if you're not following the handle, to be able to, to see. To take a look at it. So when I saw the picture, honestly, when I travel abroad, I mean, when I take pictures abroad, my mm -hmm. pictures are nicer and finer. So I was saying that. Is it, is it, is it a Nigerian breeze? But the, the, the thing that mm -hmm. struck me with this story is how much, you know, I just saw so much potential of people because they were people that you know they, they are now medical doctors they, they are professionals you know mm -hmm. it was so it was just like almost like okay i was at a place where it seemed like it i was not going to actualize my dreams yeah. all of a sudden i'm somewhere where mm -hmm. i'm just blossoming because mm -hmm. you can actually literally see somebody looking rickety and all unkept. you know unkept and now looking so bloomy and you and know glowy beautiful. and all of that so, so i'm just wondering like there, you there know was something Uti said yesterday like um is it okay for us to run away from nigeria <laughs> this, this, this. <laughs> so for me I, I i look at it like okay if i will be fresher let me use niger terms if i go there fresher <laughs> compared to what i saw be, because we, you see somebody who was um living nigeria looking all gaunt then the moment he got there, 
a few years down the line, looking so people all robust feel more safe. and fresh. Mm -hmm. Is it because things are working for them? Uh, what are we doing uh, wrong? Things, so things, so things I could not actually, even recognize them. Things, 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 things are actually things are actually working. The, the truth is, it's not like that society. It's not like they don't have their own issues or their own challenges or problems. But the truth is, the government is not out to get you. <laughs> They're not out to get you. They're not out to bring you down or, or try to ruin your business. I think mean, there's just something equal like opportunities that. Opportunities for there are everyone. Opportunities like there are opportunities mm. out there. And if 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 you're not trying, and the thing about Nigerians, if mm. we're being very honest, we are very very hardworking. Mm. When yes. we find our place in, uh, we we'll find ourselves in places that are, that is not Nigeria. You see mm. that you have to struggle times two. The thing is, Nigerians are synonymous with struggle. Mm. We are synonymous with hustle. Mm -hmm. So when Hard we work. go out there, we are working. Because we know that we have family members to feed here. Back home. We also have family members that are with us there that we mm -hmm. also have to feed. Mm -hmm. So we have this family mentality. So you know, we're not, all, we're not only working for ourselves, mm -hmm. we're working for other people. So when you get there, the government is not trying to stop your business. You. You're doing a startup. Nobody's mm -hmm. trying to increase the um, price of goods out there or mm -hmm. price of things. Or somebody like, won't come from get... behind and tell you you have not paid for this, you haven't paid for this. You know, trying to, you know hustle you in the process thereby making business oh they are trying to shut business. you down shut and you down, start thinking of other ways to make your business making work business difficult for so you, i, I you mean know? so the terrain in nigeria is really rough currently but like well, I, I was saying well, we, we still have hope but we said we should change our strategy <laughs> i hope it's not a strategy mm. we have to find a new strategy <laughs> you're as well all right so my story is actually um in line with what we had discussed yesterday about insecurity. Mm -hmm. So Buhari to service chief, you've got few weeks mm -hmm. to deliver the country. So as the country undergoes serious um, security challenges, bedeviling its economy, President Muhammadu mm -hmm. Buhari on Friday, that's today, charged the newly um, promoted service chiefs to do anything within their powers to ensure the security of lives and properties of, uh, of Nigerians. While I am so happy that almost lately, like in the past week, this week, you know, the, go um, the, president. the president has been talking, he's becoming a lot more visible in the, the fight for, um, um, what's it called, our security challenges mm. that we're having in the country. I'm wondering, okay, where, this, where, where were you all this while? You know, look at the number of lives that we've lost, look number of things that have happened, you know. I am hoping that truly this um, service chiefs will whip up some miracle, some strategy to be able to, you know, fight insecurity. But then again, when you also give a non-performing service chief amb ambassadorial role, it begs the question that even if these ones do not perform, what will then happen to them? Would there be any penalty? Would there be any, you know, for, the, for, for, for a non-performing um, service chief? That's a question I'm going to ask the president. I find it weird that he said, um You've got weeks. Mm. <laughs> no, why? The reason he said weeks was that the rains are coming, so he wants people to be able to return back to their farmlands. We do not want to get to that point where we're having food, um, food, food so, um, shortages and all of that because people have not been able to go to their farmlands because of insecurity. So he wants to be able to let us fight this thing so that by the time the rains are coming, people would have returned back to their farmlands. When you said if, when you if, when you sorry sorry okay, when you ahead. said that he he said um do all. Do what it takes mm -hmm. to get... Did you quote him verbatim? Well, that is what the Punch newspaper reported. Newspaper reported. <laughs> okay, because I have a problem with that Oh, with Vanga, that sorry. Vanga, yeah, yeah, I have a problem with that phrase or that sentence. Because when you... It's Nigeria. When you say, do what it takes, mm. I find it really... I don't know. I, I'm very okay, so let me, let me put let me, take, let me put... Uh, where they put the inverted comma... Um, comma is, that is stating the, his quote. He said, you've got a few weeks... To do that, because by the by the raining season, we expect people to develop confidence and go back to the land. So um, that so that we do not get into trouble uh, by being away from the fields and therefore unable to produce enough food for the nation, right? So it's, um, I think that's about it. So he's just hoping. Okay, let's let's hope that <laughs> the, the service chiefs will be able to do what. Um, um, Hercules couldn't do. Let's um, hope that they will be able to deliver. I hope they come up with a ask. very good strategy. I am happy that because we've been talking about insecurity all this while. So we are seeing that at least there's an attempt for being visible to fight that insecurity. There so is a let's give that them says, the benefit of doubt. doesn't count. Mm, no, 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 we I know. need action. Yes, but let's give them the benefit of doubt that, okay, yes. at least he's even talking now. Yes, so hopefully, hopefully, yes. Get, is, is, so I think this is 
kind of better than silence. Silence, yeah. He has said something. So we'll just wait, yes, sit and back, watch and it. see Thank what you. happens. That's it. So, All right, so we're going to take a break. When we return, we'll be discussing e-commerce. Stay with us. We'll be right back.